This is Martha. For the past years, Martha has been successfully running her bakery. And after saving some earnings, all she needed to expand her business was some financial support. And that's when Spakasa changed her life. With available credit to make her dream come true, sales went through the roof. But she is not the only one. In Germany, Spakassen have been improving people's lives and promoting sustainable development over the last 200 years, strengthening local financial structures and guaranteeing financial inclusion, apart from making some other means of saving obsolete, of course. Already in the 19th century, people with low income could save even a small fraction of their earnings and grow their funds in the Spakasse, while the amount was reinvested into the local economy. Over the years, the Sparkassen Finance Group expanded more and more, reaching some great figures. Look at this. And the principle of its foundation lives on today, allowing everyone to better their lives regardless of their social status, as well as the equal treatment of clients. Alongside a strong commitment to the development of local business is its public mandate. What also sets Sparkassen apart is that they have no owner. Legally, Sparkassen are under municipal trusteeships. This means that a municipality is the responsible public body of a Sparkasse, but not its owner, since they hold no shares. Sparkassen are run by a supervisory board, consisting of city council representatives, citizens, and employees, who ensure that the Sparkassen fulfill their public mandates, and a management board composed of bank professionals who are responsible for the day-to-day -day business. Spakassen also have a decentralized structure. What does this mean? It means that every Spakassa is independent, locally managed, and concentrates its business activities on customers in the region it is situated. Its regional principle is laid down by law and assures that Spakassen only operate branches within their own region. Their loan activities also focus exclusively on that locality. All of this ensures regional development. Take Martha's case, for example. When she received a loan, she hired employees and invested in the expansion of her bakery. Higher productivity also means that she can sell more baked goods, increasing her personal wealth as well as the amount of taxes paid, which in turn promotes regional development. Good news for her and her community. This whole business structure is how Spakasse makes it possible to offer every person from all social groups the opportunity to develop themselves. And that makes Spakasse different from other financial institutions and one of the biggest and most successful bank groups from all over the world.